I hope this review of this golf cart battery is going to be the top two golf cart review batteries you watch this week. Okay, fine, maybe top five. I'll give myself some grace, top five. In this episode, we're gonna cover the Batcher battery for your golf cart. This is a 48 volt battery. It's 105 amp hours. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna install it. We're gonna test it. We're gonna weigh it. Stick with me, let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is unbox the battery. I like to unbox the batteries for you guys on camera so you guys know exactly how the package is going to come so there's no surprises when you get yours. These things come from a thousand, maybe a million miles away. It's good to know what these things look like when they show up at your door. Here we go. Opening up the box here for the first time. I am not bold you i have not opened this box this is the first time it's been opened i haven't even seen this thing here's the battery itself check it out this is a 48 volt battery it's 105 amp hours let's see before i pull the battery out let's look what we have in here our warranty card very well packaged i will say i'm gonna bet this is probably our display yes display cable very very nice this is gonna go into the battery we'll talk about all this stuff here in a second all right, we set this aside for now. This here looks like our charger. That's a heavy duty charger, little boy. She's thick. Like the battery, this thing is packaged with a million pounds of foam. There's the charging cable, the charge wires, and the connection, and the charger itself. A 20 amp charger for this battery, 105 amp hours. Very, very nice charger. Let's pull this big battery out of here and I'll blow my back out. Yep. Come over here real quick and take a look at where the connections for your controller are gonna go. So right here we have the positive connection. This is where your controller is gonna go. We have the on off button here. It's already ready to go, lights up, boom. Right here is our Bluetooth antenna so you can download the app. If you don't wanna run the display, you don't have to. You can do everything off your phone. This right here is where the display is going to go. It's going to plug in here. It'll run up and through your cart to wherever you decide to mount it. We have a vent here. This vent is just going to keep everything pressurized depending on where you live or the pressurized in the atmosphere. That's what that's for. And then we also have our battery negative right here. This is where the controller is gonna go on your negative side. All right, so that's how the battery comes in the packaging. Let's take the lid off. I wanna see what it looks like on the inside. Here we go. That's a lot of work. All right, here we go. Opening the lid for the first time. Let's take a look at the inside of this thing. Look at that. The battery is made up of individual cells that are tied together basically with these bars that run across. And if you see here, we have the positive and the negative side. These bars are custom made or specifically made for this battery. Sometimes you'll see a battery, instead of having a bus bar like this, it'll just be a, a wad of cable coming off. This is specific to this exact battery. If you see here too, they left a little bit of slot here so that you can move this around a little bit just to adjust for where the cells line up in this battery case. Very, very well constructed. Look how nice this is. That insulation on all these bus bars. The BMS is what's gonna control the charging and <clears throat> the battery health. You'll be able to pull up the app and see the battery health based on the BMS. Very, very, very nice. And around here at the top, if you didn't already notice, this is a rubber gasket. This rubber gasket is going to keep the battery nice and tight. Well, that's what the inside of the battery looks like. Let's go install it in the golf cart. All right, we're gonna do the speed test with the stock batteries in the golf cart. I got the GPS app here. I'll drop it on the screen so you guys can see exactly how fast I'm going. Stock batteries, after this, let's get the speed. We're gonna take it back to the garage, swap the batteries out, weigh everything, see what kind of savings we get on weight with the new battery upgrade, and then we'll do another speed test and see what we get. Let's go. Woo! So 23 miles an hour with the crappy lead acid batteries in there. Like I said earlier, it does have a Navitas controller, so it's got a little bit more there. It's going to the motor. Let's take it back to the garage and soup it up. So this is what I'm working with. We open this up. We get the lead acids in here. Yucky. This golf cart already has a Navitas controller in it. What I'm going to do is just unplug and uninstall all this crap and put in one really nice, powerful battery. Let's get into it. 
As we get into the uninstallation of the old batteries and the install of the new battery, I'm gonna give you this first person perspective. One thing to keep in mind, always turn your mode switch off here. This is going to keep any kind of electrical surges away from your controller as you're messing around with these electronic components. Also to save all these connections that connect your batteries, because if you decide you're gonna sell your batteries on the market and you wanna recover some of your funds from buying a expensive battery, you might be able to resell some of these batteries on Facebook Marketplace if your old batteries still have some value. So I don't have a way of measuring how much the battery weighs. I gotta do it the very scientific way. I'll measure myself. And then we're gonna deduct the battery weight, 199 pounds. 306 pounds. What's the difference between 199 and 306? I don't know, that's a lot of math. All right, now let's weigh one of the lead acid batteries. Before we were 199 pounds, I'm around that to 200 for easy math. Stepping on the scale is now 263 pounds. So one of these batteries weighs 63 pounds times 63 by six. I don't know what that is, 360 pounds? I don't know, do the math in a minute. This tray was designed to hold six batteries. I had to do a little bit of trimming in order to get my new, bigger, single battery to fit in here. I measured it out and my new batch of battery is going to fit perfect. All right, real quick, real quick. Let's measure this battery real quick because I know someone in the comments is gonna ask. Let's see how big the battery actually is. Real quick, our length, 19 and uh, about a half going up from the bottom. Right there, we're right at about nine. Coming across the top is right at about 13. Getting my battery to fit was super simple. I cut some two by fours to link, I drilled some holes, I sank some screws, bolted them in, and I set the battery on top. From there, I'm hooking up the positive and I'm hooking up the negative from my controller and my down converter. And that's it, that's all it takes. Here it is in the cart, it's charging. This is about a two hour deal from start to finish. So now that we had the battery installed, now I gotta figure out how I'm going to and where I'm going to mount my display. First of all, we have the connection here that's gonna connect onto the battery and I'm gonna run my cord under the chassis. Some people don't wanna do that. If there's a channel or something like that in the floorboard of your cart, you can run it through there. I'm gonna just go through one of the existing holes in the floor of my golf cart, run it up through the dash, and go mount it up there where it can be easily seen. Let's go. So I just plugged mine in, dropping it down, do the chassis, I'm gonna run it forward, and then underneath the floor, and I'm probably gonna pop up with it right in here on this console. I decided to install my display on the right side of the golf cart because as I'm driving, I can look over to my right and I can see it very easily. When I had it on the left side, the steering wheel got in the way and I kind of had to duck and weave in order to see the display. Here, I am just using some self-tapping screws, putting it into the dash, and it came out really, really nice to be honest with you. Now that we have the display in, we have the battery in, it is charged, let's do a speed test. All right, speed test with the new battery, let's go. I got two cameras here, let's go. There's one more thing I wanna talk about guys, and it is the app. You can access this battery through an app in the app store. I'm gonna call it Zhao Jing Electric. Now, I don't know if that's right or wrong, but it has a little elephant on the app. I'll put a screenshot of it right here. Setting up the app is super simple. You just download it from the iOS store or your Android store. You enable the Bluetooth on your phone so that the app can talk to your phone. And then from there, you can just access the information of the battery inside the app. So for example, I can see the percentage of the battery. I can look at the cell health of each individual cell. Now, when you're looking at your cells, if you just scroll to the bottom here, you will see where your batteries are listed. Now, this is each individual cell. As we look at it here, the blue is 3.327. All the blues are the same. You're gonna have a green. That's gonna be the highest charge cell in the bank. And then in my case, I have a gray. That's gonna be the lowest cell in the bank. Not all cells are gonna be balanced perfectly all the time, but there is a feature in here. If you go into the app and you go to control, you can go in here and you can auto balance the battery. So sometimes if, you, if you're if you discharging and charging your battery over and over over time, sometimes the cells do not charge at the exact same pace or rate. So maybe you have to 
do a little bit of an auto balance and that's what this battery has super simple it'll just level your cells back out so that your battery health maintains a constant level and a healthy level to add to longevity of your battery so that's it that's everything i hope this video was in the top 100 of your favorite golf cart modification videos you watch on youtube this week be sure to like and subscribe it doesn't cost anything and it helps the channel a ton thanks for being your guys later i wish that damn dog would stop barking i hope that this is at least in the top two golf cart re Sweating my ass off out here.